right, so welcome back. Uh, beautiful December day. You may remember Kevin, first ever passenger <laughs> after my private. Different plane this time. We're heading over to Parkersburg, West Virginia uh, for lunch at Jerry's Flyaway Cafe. I've been there before, so we're going to take the short 30-ish minute flight over there, grab a bite to eat, and then uh, come back. It should be, it should be fun. Cherokee 152 just off runway 23, uh, climbing through 2000, making a right hand turn out of the parking area westbound, Fairmont traffic. Clarksburg approach, Cherokee 15152, VFR request. Cherokee 15152, Clarksburg approach, their request. 152 is a P-28 Bravo slant golf just west of the Fairmont Airport. We'd like flight following to Parkersburg, please, 4,500. Cherokee 152 Squawk 5731, altimeters 3030. 5731 and 3030 for 152. So he's looking at us now. We've given him our, given him our code. Cherokee 152 radar contact about four miles west of the Fairmont Airport. Maintain VFR. Position altitude checks, uh, VFR for 152. How are you feeling, good? Feel fantastic. We are all so, good. So, your IDENT, you literally just type in the numbers and you, there's no... Unless he says the IDENT. So, like, what will happen is oh. if he doesn't say IDENT, we just appear on his screen, but he's got such light traffic, he would have no problem finding us when it's busy, and sometimes they'll say IDENT because they want they want us to flash on their screen. Oh. When we hit that IDENT, like if I hit it now, which I won't, you should not do it unless they ask, it'll it'll actually gotcha. make our airplane flash to him. Oh, so it's, just, it's kind of an indication that he's looking for somebody or something. So we're leveling off here, so no, no need to be alarmed. Can you pull out, there's a laminated card with white and yellow. Uh, aircraft has this weather information for a West Thank Virginia you. surrounding state. We're going to look for 4,500. We'll go 21 here. Thank you. 21 inches and 23. So what I'm going to do, I'm using this chart to get a 65% power setting. So I'm going to pull the manifold pressure back to 21 inches of manifold pressure. That's what the throttle does. And then in this plane, the propeller knob will let us bring this back to 2,300 RPM. What was the intensity of that turbulence down at 5,000? It was starting to grow to moderate. We were having uh, altitude fluctuations of plus or minus 100. T2 Victor, Roger, thanks. So that's our cruise power setting that we've determined. Here now at 7, uh, I'm going to put the nose Perfect. over so we can get back down to 4,500 and level off. We'll go ahead and turn our fuel pump off. Watch the fuel pressure, make sure it doesn't drop off when the electric fuel pump turns off. Is still good. Our landing light can come off. And we'll get down to uh, 4,500, and then we'll lean. We'll do, I'll show you the, how we lean in this plane. It's super cool with this engine monitor instrument. We can get super precise with our fuel to air mixture. Yeah, thanks, I'm done with that card now. We can go ahead and run a uh, cruise checklist. Power we've set, propeller we've set. Mixture will adjust here in just a minute. Fuel pump is off, landing light is off, and our flight instruments are uh, are set as desired. We're on the fuel tank that we want to be on. Engine instruments in the green, everything looks good. All right, perfect. So now we'll go ahead and pre-lean, and by that all I'm doing is pulling this mixture back a little bit until I start to see the uh, cylinder head temperatures and the EGTs rise slightly on their own. Just a little bit is all we need to let it get close. And then this has a lean find function, which is the coolest thing ever created. I'll show it to you once it, once it stabilizes at this temperature. Basically what it does, you put it in lean find and you start pulling, and it, it watches all the cylinder temperatures. And when, when one, it can tell, comes the leanest, when the hottest one comes through its leanest point of fuel to air. So like the temperature will be rising and then it'll start falling when you come through the, the peak EGT section. It flashes and says leanest and shows you that you've reached peak. And then you just enrich it slightly until you get however much rich of peak you want to be. But there's no guessing. Like it, you, you know exactly where you're at uh, 
And with this instrument, with this fuel flow gauge, I know exactly how much fuel per hour, I know exactly how much fuel we've burned since we started the airplane up. I mean to the like tenth of a gallon. We've used 3.8 gallons since we started. All right, here we go. Let's put it in lean fine mode. 3832 hotel contact Washington. And see how it works. So we're leaning rich a peak, and now I start pulling. Yeah, right, You'll see that number should be climbing. 1486, 47. All right, so that's the uh, EGT getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So it's watching for the leanest cylinder. When it crosses the peak position, it'll flash leanest. And then we hit lean find again. And see, now we're 24 degrees lean of peak, that engine is. I want it to be on the richer peak side, so I'm pushing back in now. That should come back to zero. And then, like, that's degrees off of peak. So we're 15 below peak now. We're getting real close to peak here. And I'm going to let it go, like, 10 degrees cool of peak on the rich side. So I'm just pushing, I'm pushing this knob, which is putting more fuel into the cylinders. The benefits are... The closer you can get it to peak performance, the better the engine performs, and as little fuel as you have to use. You know, you don't want to use any more fuel than you have to. All right, so let's let's go with that for a while. And we, if we were if we're good at our jobs, we'll get ahead of ourselves here and look at Parkersburg, get their weather put in here while we've got downtime. We should always try to stay ahead of the airplane like this. Um, and their tower is going to be 123.7. So we'll have it in standby for when he tells us to contact tower. We could actually go ahead and get the weather if we wanted to at Parkersburg. Um, Runway 3, Pappy Lights out of service. Advise on this contact to have Oscar. Oscar. Parkersburg Airport, data information officer. Parkersburg 1653, due to weather. Wind 2106, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 6, 2 point minus 3, altimeter 3033. Visual approach in use, landing and departing, runway 21. Parkersburg, notice chairman. Runway 3, Pappy lights out of service. Advise on this contact, you have Oscar. All right, we have information Oscar. Two, two, one zero at six, so that is right down the runway for runway two one. Cherokee one five one five two contact Indianapolis Center one two five point five five. Have a good day. Twenty five fifty five for Cherokee one five two. So long. Indy Center Cherokee one five one five two four thousand five hundred. Number one five one five two. Indy Center, believe you're taking on VFR. A firm four thousand five hundred. Parkersburg Airport, 12 o'clock at 28 miles, report field site. Parkersburg altimeter is uh, 3033. 33, and we'll let you know on Parkersburg for 152. Thank you, Jack Card 81, contact Indy Center 1. So he gave us a new altimeter setting, so we adjust our altimeters based on the current barometric pressure at uh, Parkersburg. 5-5, you check on as well. 5, that's permanent 4,500. 71655, very good, thank you. I am looking. That's a power plant. That's a someone else is also right at our elevation. Flying at our elevation. Are they? Is that what he was saying? Yeah, but he could be, that's Indianapolis Center. That guy could be as far away as... Who knows? He could be anywhere. He would, he'll, he'll call out to us if there's a traffic conflict. So those are smokestacks, right? I bet you that is these. Actually, it's probably the power plant by the river. I bet you that's super close to the airport. Yeah. In fact, I think I see the airport. Just beyond, just beyond the stacks. There's like a clear, like an opening. What was the 30.33? Uh, that is the uh, barometric pressure the and inches of mercury being reported currently at the uh, at the Parkersburg Airport so that our altimeters can accurately read our altitude and Indy Cherokee 152 has Oscar and Parkersburg in sight 15152 Indy Center Roger thank you Parkersburg Airport 12520 miles uh, no observed track between you and the airfield, but our service is already terminated. Swag VFR, and you can contact tower 
All right, Squawk VFR and over to 123.7 for Cherokee 152. Appreciate it. It's, it's, it's hard for me to hear and understand what he was saying. Oh, I can turn him up a little. He was pretty soft, too. Parkersburg Tower, Cherokee 152, 19 miles east with Oscar inbound, uh, full stop, 15152. Cherokee 15152, Parkersburg Tower, report two mile left base, runway 21, and say altitude. All right, we're uh, 4,500, we'll report a two mile left base for Cherokee 152. Cherokee 152, thank you. There's a Malibu that's just off the end of runway 21, it's going to be eastbound, and they are climbing to four, correction, 5,500. All right, we'll keep our eyes open. We'll see him on ADSB for 152. All right, 6, uh, Tango Charlie, the Cherokee is at 4,519 miles, one nine or miles east. Okay, I'm sure we'll get him on the back here in a minute. For 6, Tango Charlie. So he's going to be coming off this way and then turning eastbound. So he is currently 2,600 feet below us climbing about our uh, 11 to 10 o'clock. Cherokee 152, not sure if the center let you know, but I just put pop on. Wind 260 at 8, Parkersburg altimeter is 3032. All right, 32 for 152. He is now, he's not going to be a factor. He's not going to be a factor. We'll keep our eyes peeled for him, but just know that he's not going to be a factor. All right, descent checklist. Throttle is required, prop, airspeed is desired, mixture slowly enriching. We'll get our approach checklist in a little bit. We're going to pull back. Let's go like two, two inches of manifold pressure. Start a nice, easy descent. We'll keep that nice descent coming. We actually have to turn more towards the airport than we think because the wind going to try to keep blowing us away. So even if our nose is faced kind of that way, you know, we're going to be tracking this way with the with the wind correction. Uh, descent checklist. Altimeters are set. Fuel selector, we're going to land on left main. We don't have an approach. Uh, the uh, approach briefing is uh, we got the winds. We we'll have a crosswind from the right. Pretty out here by the river and the smokestacks. And slowly enriching the mixture as we descend because we're getting back into slightly denser air and we want the fuel mixture to stay the same. We'll be full rich before we land with the fuel pump on. I'll go ahead and pull back a little bit more power. You could also use the slow down a little. When I do that, I gotta trim up a little bit because the nose wants to fall over. So we want to slow our descent, but also slow our airspeed. Those are hard, two things that are hard to slow together. Like I need to learn this plane a little better. Like I, I should have stayed higher a lot longer. We're nowhere near where we would be able to glide to that airport now, should we need to. All right, uh, let's go. Mixture's rich. We'll go ahead and get our fuel pump on. Prop to go. Seats and seat belts are secured. Uh, landing lights on and flaps and trim as desired. Approach checklist complete. That's before landing. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and bring that power back out now that we put back in. We can let that descent start coming back in. So, I mean, basically, would you, to, to slow and maintain your altitude, or are you pulling? You're pulling power out. And pitching up. And pitching up. Yep. But what are you pitching up with? Both, both the trim and the elevator. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. So like now I'm trying to get down to like a hundred. Take a one five two city position. Uh, three mile left base for two one for one five two. Take one five two. Roger in sight. You disregard the report. To runway two one. Clear to land. Clear to land runway 21, Cherokee 152. All right. Went 260 at 7. All right. So now we do want to get this descent coming. So we're going to pull a little more power. Mixture's rich. Prop can go forward now because I heard it come down off the governor. We want to slow to like 100 miles an hour and also be descending. So I need to I'm going to put one notch of flaps in, which will also help us with all that because we're inside the white arc. What's helping you get lined 
up with the runway. Just my control. eyes. Yeah, my eyes. I'll put in second notch of flaps. Five hundred. Slow to ninety miles an hour. There comes some sinks. So I'm gonna put a little power back in, like just a little. Short final runway two one. So we're gonna be a little crabbed here because there's a went crosswind from the right. So right before touchdown, I'll straighten us out. But right now, I'm just gonna ride this in like it is. It'll be right aileron, left rudder, okay? Thank you. Very nice. That was a crosswind landing for sure. I'm going to get off at Echo because I'm not going to make this one and I don't want to smash Cherokee one. Cherokee 152, taxi uh, to the Rampy Echo, remain the frequency. Rampy Echo with you for Cherokee 152.